In today's video, I'm excited to share my experience on how I use Midjourney for the first time to create a cool reference images for the prosthetic hand design that I'm making. I've been working tirelessly on developing this modular prosthetic hand for a few months now, and I've found myself struggling to achieve the aesthetics that I envision. While functionality is undoubtedly a top priority, I've always wanted the prosthetic hand to look as cool as those futuristic robotic hands that we see in sci-fi movies. That's when I stumbled upon a video by Some Great Things, which tells about how even beginners can harness the power of mid-journey specifically for industrial designs. And after watching this tutorial, I decided to give it a shot using Midjourney's basic $10 a month plan. And the results were truly remarkable. I kicked things off by using the Imagine function with a rather general prompt, a modular robotic hand design. This took a matter of seconds to generate these images, and I must say the results were very impressive. Next, I wanted to incorporate material properties and even added a side view prompt from modeling. However, the generated images were primarily isometric views. I even experimented by adding Gundam exterior, but it didn't quite resemble the actual Gundam parts that I was hoping. I also explored the blend function to see if I can achieve better results by blending with the original design of my prosthetic finger. Surprisingly, it produced a full hand design rather than the finger part, which wasn't what I initially expected. However, it turned out to be a promising approach as the results looked better in comparison to my previous results when I used a full hand as a reference image. Now, you might be wondering, how can we use these cool generated images to create a fully functioning prosthetic hand? Even though I spent less than an hour experimenting with this tool, I can already see its potential in providing valuable reference images to enhance the existing design. These time lapses show you how I use these generated images as a reference to extract features that can be incorporated into new aesthetic design of the prosthetic hand. So that was the latest update on my exploration of using generative AI tools for mechanical design, and I'm excited to see if I can transform these newly generated concepts into a fully functional prototype in the future. Thanks for watching.